Hello. So, two tales of how I nearly died, and then I'm gonna go to bed. Um, so on Sunday night, I was driving back from Rapid, and it had rained a lot, so the roads were really wet, and then it snowed. So everything was slushy, and it was still snowing, and it wasn't even like the okay kind of slushy where you have enough traction. It was like the kind of slushy where you're just like sliding through the slush. So I was going down the interstate, just sliding through the slush, and like I was pushing on the gas, but it wouldn't make me go any faster. It was just terrible, and I just had to use the knowledge that, okay, I'm halfway to this point, which is halfway to this point, which is halfway to this point. Basically just like using the, the terrible logical reasoning it actually amounts to a paradox of never getting to your destination. So there was that one. And um, also when I was driving, um, this bunny just ran across the road. It was right in front of my car and I was so afraid I was going to hit it because I've never hit any animals and I don't want to. And I told somebody that in my class the other day and they're like, you sure it wasn't a cat? Well, I see a lot of cats. And I'm like, and no, it wasn't a cat. I know the difference between a cat and a bunny. A cat is like, mom, mom. And then a bunny's like, bunnies don't make noise. Anyway, they have longer ears. And also, they like curl their butt under more and they hop more than they run. They do run though. I saw that once and that was really bizarre. Um, and then. I noticed that every other car that was driving the other direction on the interstate and passing the interstate was a truck or an SUV. I was the only person with a just a regular car that was attempting to drive in that crap. I did manage to make it back though, so that was good. And then last night, I just didn't feel like sleeping. So I went on a random drive, and I was just driving a little ways into Wyoming and back and on the interstate again, and a deer was just in the road, just kind of sauntering across the road, and I didn't see it until I was like 10 feet from it, and I swerved and I missed it, but oh, that was scary. So those were my uh, near-death experiences. Then, as I mentioned, I didn't sleep last night at all. I just kind of decided to pull an all-nighter because I just had one class today at 8 a.m. So it was almost more, it was just more worth it to just stay up. And now, I'm gonna shower first because my hair is gross. And then go to bed and just sleep all day. And it's gonna be wonderful. Magnificent and marvelous, but, you know, I stayed up all night and watched Vlog Brothers videos and read a book. Well, I didn't read the whole book, but I read part of it, and I went for a drive, and I almost died. And it's time for bed. It's time for bed. Definitely time for bed. So, I will see you tomorrow.